Vasquez played for the Edmonton Eskimos before he turned to professional wrestling. You can see him in the Comedy Network's new show, Wrestling with the Past, on Saturday, March 10th at 8 p.m. Please welcome Gene Kaniski. <laughs> Tell me. Mike, why did you do it? What the hell were you thinking about? I'm one of those guys that won't answer that yet. Just to, do you realize there's an arrest warrant out for you in Vancouver? No, I had no idea. Hey, the people know when you're on the Think of Gabriella show, they know, I'm not going to use the harsh terms, you have scounded with six of her mugs. Now, you have the opportunity to return them and we'll forgive you or else you're going to have to fly out and go back on her show and make a public apology to her and all my fellow Canadians. All right. Now, it's your choice. I, I, can I be honest? I'll be able to swear in a court of law that I cannot remember ever being on the Vicky Gabriola show. But I mean, <laughs> uh, I never heard of Vicky Gabriola. How dare you say that? But you forget one thing. <laughs> I was there. I was there, and I watched you open your bag, and right. I watched you stuffing it in. Yeah. And I said... God, if he's hurting for cash, I could have parted with 50 bucks. Right. Like, you know. Now, and I will I, admit this, another, Gene. Another thing that was very, very insulting, you come out to beautiful Vancouver, and you Easterners have no respect for the West. I think it was uh, terrible just going out there, doing the show, and then flying back. The least you could have done is spend a week uh, with uh, your fellow Canadians in Vancouver because your show is so highly rated that people just love you. Yeah. And God, you got such a cute hairdo. Thank and you. Anyways, <laughs> And, and so when you go You're my idol. Well, uh, thank you very, very well, much. I mean, now you got me off, uh, you know. You're getting all teary now, weepy? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I mean, mm. <laughs> okay, now it's your show. You ask me anything you want, or you folks want to ask me, eh, just go ahead and fire away. Well, that's it. We're done. Thanks, Gene. Come on in. Sit down. Sit down. No, Gene, don't punch. You're a wrestler. Ah, uh, violence is a tool of the ignorant. You know I don't resort to violence. All right, good. So you've seen the light. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Now, you, you, you call yourself. No, 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 I know what you're going to say. You call yourself. Oh, I'm sweating, but man, you no, need. That's all right. Canada's greatest athlete. That, that is exactly that, what I was going to say, I, Gene. I'm going to tell you what happened. That honor was bestowed upon me by uh, people like you and the news media. Canada's greatest athlete. Well, i got to be now, honest. I've never uh, said it. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, look, put it this way. If you figure you're a great ball, uh, baseball player, football player, hockey player, stuff like that, okay, wrestle me first. Then after you finish wrestling me, if you think you can play football wrestling, you're one hell of an athlete. So I guess that qualifies me as being kind of a great athlete, right? Yeah. You know, I used to host this show. <laughs> but Mike, Mike. Honestly, yeah. you're on all the time, and you know, you're famous, and I have to say this, you, you know, like, now I know why you're such a pro, and, and you know, the number you did uh, with me in Vancouver is just great, and uh, right now, what I'm doing is hustling the wrestling of old, and it's on this network, right? Yeah. And uh, so, thanks to people, I just hope that the fans, uh, the, or the TV audience, my fellow Canadians, when they watch it, uh, they enjoyed uh, the viewing as much as I did making it, and then... Had it not been for uh, the tape, I never would have got to meet a uh, beautiful person like you. So oh, I'm really uh, reaping uh, the oh, benefit. Thank you very right? Much. I, uh, you know what, Gene? I don't know what to say. No, I mean it. I don't know what to say. We're all out. <laughs> you answered them all without even being asked. You gotta be kidding! Oh, you, 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 every you. single question on the card, you've answered every single one of them. I, I just can't believe it. Well, you didn't answer how you got the nickname Big Thunder. I, well, I think uh, you know people don't realize uh, when you're wrestling, being in uh, sports, you always get hit in the throat and uh, yeah. arms around the throat. And uh, what happens? You get to the point where you can't speak normally. You have to sort of force yourself, like. Uh, I can assure you, years ago, like 50 years, 60 years ago, I didn't sound like this. Yeah. And when I'm speaking, I sort of have to force myself and say, Hey, big thunder! You know, the big noise, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, uh, Joe Garziola, he used to always make fun of uh, the way I spoke. And uh, it was just something that uh, caught on, you know. Yeah. Now, if you don't mind my asking, how old are you now? 72. My goodness, huh? you're, you're in great shape. Uh, 
Hey, listen, I'd take a bow for 72, too. That's good. Well, now, yeah. well, you're in, you're in, you're in impeccable shape. What do, you, what do you work out every day? I work out five days a week. I don't, actually, I call it physiotherapy, and then I swim uh, uh, twice a week, <laughs> one at my age. And uh, I just I feel really good. I, I might be uh, 72 years, but uh -huh. honestly, I, I feel real, real young. And I say this in all honesty. If my knees were good, I'd be out working out at the University of Simon Fraser University in Burnaby, B.C., because you never forget it. I enjoy it. Yeah. Like, you know, like with you, not, yeah. you know, like a little suggestion. I'm much older than you. I understand. If anything ever happens to you, right. tell them never to call a doctor. Put you back to your desk and a mic, and you'll be good for another 60 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> This is the finest piece of workout equipment I've ever seen I in my know. life. Hey, what's this I hear about you? Uh, uh, the uh, U.S. Networks is going to pick you up. I think that's great. Yeah, that's uh, not something we're supposed to be talking oh. about, Gene. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I, I, heard, I heard the great Biden coach and I travel. Yeah. And, yeah. and I said, God, I'll say the, the Americans want a little culture, so they're going to put a fellow Canadian on there. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. It's you, sure. You know, right? Sure would be. Sure, uh, it'd, it'd really be something. Yes, if that no, ever was to happen. Look, now how would I know something like that? I, jeez, no idea. Voices? I don't know. I, I, no, I, no, I'm not psychic or anything because uh, I, I refuse to dwell in the murky waters of superstition, you see. Yeah. But I heard it, I guess The I, murky waters of superstition? Yes. Did you get kicked out of wrestling? <laughs> that kind of talk? <laughs> the murky... No, no, I didn't mean anything by it. I don't know why you would come all the way back here when I'll tell you it was a compliment. I was saying that you're a you're a wordsmith. You're a, you're a man of letters. I, I don't know uh, if people yeah. <laughs> like like bleeding. You're poetic. Can you're, you imagine like bleeding in black cats crossing a path, a uh, uh, broken mirror, uh, spilling salt. I don't buy that. And yeah. like I said to Mike, I said I refuse to dwell in the murky waters of superstition. Simple yeah. as that, right? Yeah. Now do you all concur with me or not? Yeah. Yeah. All right. so now, you know we we never did we never did get a chance to see a clip of the special, and uh, I I feel that's a good thing. I think people are going to have to tune in now to see the whole thing. I want to thank you very much for coming by tonight. It was uh, good to see you. You've got Dave. all backwards, Mike. I have to take this opportunity. To thank you for letting me on the show. Do you really realize the impact it's going to have? If it wasn't for people like you, uh, my life would never be uh, so enjoyable. And then before signing off, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my fellow Canadian for allowing me to host via TV. And as usual, Mike, you did a superb job. I can't, I'm, okay. That's, this is, uh, this is all well and good. I, I'm just a little confused by this hug me, punch me, hug me, punch me. So we'll, we'll end on that positive note. Thank you very much, Gene Kaniski, well, ladies and gentlemen. Sue Johans is next. Don't go away. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, our next guest has been educating Canadians about sex for over 25 years. She's just been appointed as a member of the Order of Canada. Please welcome sex guru Sue Johansson. <laughs> Congratulations, Sue. You are the third Order of Canada member we've had on the show. That's well, wonderful. thank you. Now, have they presented you with it I had to wear a skirt just right. to prove that I have legs. Right. Because right. Uh, people only see me behind the desk and mm -hmm. they figure that, mm -hmm. you know, from there down, God knows what there yeah. is. So we got legs. Right. Wonderful. Now, uh, you haven't received it yet. No, I haven't right. received the Order of Canada yet. We don't know when that is. You know, yeah. it depends yeah. on what uh, Shawinigan Falls happens. Right. And how much crisis that brings out. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I wouldn't jinx it if I were you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm not pushing my luck either. Now, when you go for the ceremony, are they going to play the national anthem or are you going to choose something like Boogie Nights? What do you want? Um, let's talk about sex, baby. Hey, talk about sex. Can I make a suggestion? Certainly uh, can be. Because we, we didn't have enough time. Now, listen, now, listen to this. Now, see if you concur with me. 
hey, you got good wheels on you, gal. Now, you have the silhouette that shows, right? And then your skirt, you have a little slip and you flash a little fine. You think that doesn't motivate guys? <laughs> right now, it's a turn on. Yeah, I'm going to let Roxy do that. How you doing? Hey. You know, <laughs> it's that it's that kind of chit chat that makes me wonder why the two of you are still here. It makes me wonder why you're here. Excuse me. Have you ever thought of an older guy with the brush cut by any chance? I love to think about it. The question it. is, have you ever thought of an older guy with a brush cut? <laughs> that is hitting below the belt. I am sorry. Uh, men just don't do anything for me. I I just love girls. All right, all right. There you go. I, I qualify. Now, uh, it, it, it's very nice to have you here. And uh, were you surprised when you were nominated for the Order Shocked. of Canada? Shocked. Didn't believe right. it. I couldn't believe they would give the Order of Canada to a dirty old lady who sits up on television and talks about sex. Right. right. Now, what is, dirty, what is dirty about sex? Well, sometimes the way I talk about it, it gets slightly skewed. Yeah, I, I, I said skewed. I just, I don't agree. I know. <laughs> you got that, did you? Okay. Yeah. I don't agree with you. I, I think uh, with the wealth of knowledge uh, you have, I think you presented such a good light that it's a learning experience for anybody who's watching you and listening to you. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. I brought a little Boy, toy. Yeah. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Can't beat it. But you're making me look like a job. champion, for goodness sake. No, you're, you're looking like a silver-tongued devil, Gene. Oh. I, I can't believe it. It's either going to be a trip to Human Resources or a hotel for you yes. and Sue. <laughs> when, when I'm with my fellow Canadians, I'm at my best. Here we go. Huh? We're, can, nice we're Canadian all the way. <laughs> Are you frightened? Um, <laughs> no, but he better be. Yeah. Now, you know, you, it's funny. You, you talk about sex all the time in your show. Yes. You're obviously a sex expert. Now, I'm going to ask this because I have an uncle who was a mechanic. Yes. And the engine on his car never ran properly. <laughs> Do you, do you have a lot of sex yourself? I'm not complaining. All right. I'm doing just fine, and I've got my... Well, if you're not complaining... Yes, <laughs> my collection of toys. It just makes you that much more enticing to me. Absolutely. But, but uh, you, you do... When I groan, then you know it's good. Okay. <laughs> uh, how about you, uh, how about you, Gene? You, you're quite sexually active yourself? Yes, I, I, uh, I, for some, I have never lost it for some reason. I, uh, there's something about women that fast it comes in all of a sudden, I'm checking her wheels out, nice ankle, yeah. and I just think, you know. You've got quite a set of pins there, huh? Just, pins? Good wheels. She's good quite wheels. the skirt, the tomato, yeah, isn't she? I just think, you know, and uh, could, could you imagine, she had the silhouette heels on, and the bone spikes elongated legs, and then all of a sudden you have that little slit, and then, see, Whoa. Why am I? Be, you know. Obviously, he oh. has never seen me walk no. in high heels. No, but I no, think, I, mean, uh, I, I think like based this. on the way he did it, he's walked in high heels. <laughs> yes, I think so. I, he I was say, good. I, now, listen, I say this with all honesty. You're the type of young lady that could bring a cadaver back to life. <laughs> <laughs> I've and done that, been there, too. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is that, Isn't that cute? Uh, what's, uh... Now, I was going to ask you, what's the latest in sex toys? Well, uh, there you are. This obviously, is you got confused. What, what is this? <laughs> this is my little rubber ducky. Uh-huh. And you can have this on the bathtub. The kids don't know what it is. Right. <laughs> and so, you, and then you can take it apart. This floats. So yeah. that's your soap dish. Right. And there's your scrubber. Right. And then you take that off and push the little button. And there well, is there the you go. vibrator the, to the die The little for. duck quack. The little duck quack. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. That'll make you purr. <laughs> may, I, may, I, may I demonstrate? Uh, that's a, oh, 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 that's a little a, to the left. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, that's just oh, a wonderful, wonderful oh, thing for the oh, kids. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Mike, you're blushing. Oh. What are you blushing for? Yeah. Now, do you have uh, whip and handcuffs that you can disguise as Mr. Bubble? Or? <laughs> Anything along that line? No, no, we don't have anything like right. that. No. That's a wonderful thing. Now, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that we have to go to commercial now, Sue. We, yeah. we didn't really have as much time to chat as I had anticipated we would. But you know what? The beauty of it is you've come here tonight and you've made a new friend, friend and a potential, yes. uh, well, a potential harasser. Uh. And, 
And I, I think that's what life's all well, about. Who's going to harass who? Well, that's, uh, that's what I'm wondering right now. <laughs> that's up to All God. I know is I'm going right home after the show. <laughs>